Let's see. Rumble, Yone, both banned into LNG. That makes sense, considering that's some of their best champs. Okay, we have Nar, Aurora, Yone, Rumble, all banned. Well, LNG banned into Dom 1. Is there anything they really care about? Do they care about the Vi? Do they care about Skarner? Lucid Skarner was pretty good in the first game. Weiwei hasn't played it yet, I believe. Could be could be picked. There's Smolder. Nocturne ban into Weiwei, bro. We're actually getting a Nocturne ban. What the? Dude, I think Nocturne is such a weird champion, just a not great champion. Combos well with Ori, that's about it, in my opinion. Can mask things like Kennen, Rumble, but Rumble's already banned. Why is Dom one blue side? Because they're higher seed. Wait, no, they're same seed. I have no idea. I have no idea, RNG. Because I consider LNG like the fourth seed, but they're actually the third seed from LPL because of that fake gauntlet match that happened the day after. Jax banned into Kingen. When I think of Kingen, I just think of like... GP. Ooh, they gave Ziggs, though. When I think of King and I think of like Aatrox, GP, these types of chips. I don't really think of uh, Jax much. He can, he can play it, but it's not like crazy. I would expect Gala to just play Jin into Ziggs, but I guess you could also technically play MF. You can play Ash, but I'm not a huge fan of Ash. Okay, some Mandarin, some Mandarin top lane. Zika is pretty good Renekton player, generally. I wonder if they're going to go to Juani or something like this. I really don't like Vi Renekton, though. I'm much rather have Sojuani Renekton than Vi Renekton. Take Skarner, Lucid. Take Skarner. I don't think you... Do you really want Maokai Ziggs? I feel like Maokai is kind of fake. I think Skarner is just a more broken champion than Maokai. It's just people are so comfortable playing Maokai because they've played it for like two years straight in the jungle. And Skarner, it's like kind of new. People misjudge angles sometimes. I just think Skarner is just better champion. Just straight up stronger. When it comes to like a tank frontliner, I'll just take that champion. Okay. Smolder. Smolder for Showmaker. I mean, it could technically be top smolder king and king and seems like he would be the type of guy to play like grass top smolder but yeah all right let's see it i mean leblanc into maokai i generally don't like fine into the other two picks for sure i feel like ari is better yeah gala kaisa gala kaisa oh shit i'm Get down for that, bro. I am always down for a Gala Kaisa. That guy is too cracked. Looking pretty Chinese over here, bro. They look pretty Chinese with these these three. Hobby ban makes sense. I mean, Moham's best champion is Rel. I wonder if he'll just lock it. You can also play Leona. Some people like Nautilus into Maokai because you can buffer. Same thing with Rel. You can buffer the root. You can like take the root and buffer it. They ban Rakan because Hong is known for playing a lot of Rakan. We've seen this before, but I think that in general, when you have this combo, you do not really want to play Rakan into Maokai, so I think the Rel is much better for them because you can buffer. All right, what is Moham going to play? Just his Leona? I mean, does does Kingen just lock in GP? At GP is not that great here, but I'm just thinking knowing Kingen, like, GP, Aatrox, these are his picks here. That's not good. I don't think Olaf's good here. I don't know what, what his best pick is, though, in this situation. I mean, that, yeah, I mean, that, I thought about the GP because it's him. Olaf? Uh, cast it and hover. Yeah, cast it into Smolder. That would go really well. That wouldn't be the best champion. Champion possible like for them to play into. Like the Ooh, Silas locked. Okay. Volatile lanes. I mean, the thing is, Dom one, they don't want to fight a lot early, bro. You definitely don't want to take many fights with Maokai versus like Silas Vi when you're playing Smolder Maokai. Like these types of champs, their balling can't fight that much. I'm not really sure about the the picks. I mean, there's there obviously are good ults. Ooh, aiming misses first Q. Oh, they can actually keep the trade going. It's actually really good by them. Wow, they got Amy's flash just like that. They knew that once Alistar used Q, then they can go forward. So that's kind of a mistake by Moham. He like traded back his Q. I think if he does use his Q there, then aiming and him have to walk in the same location so that he's getting hit and not aiming. Ooh, they're looking for a gank top. On this motor pick, so not surprised to see it brought out fully. All right, Kobe, you said you were expecting junglers here in the top oh, yeah. side for the volatile matchup. Zika jumping forward. No flash, he's dead. Good gank from Weiwei. All right, that was really good. He did three camps bot, then he did his Raptors, and from Raptors, he actually went and ganked top. So, three camps bot into Raptors into top gank. They didn't expect that timer. Kingen has Ghost, no flash, and because he didn't go Ghost flash, he gets punished by Zika. Pretty hard matchup to play once you get behind two as Olaf. Kingen running. I mean, he's not really running it. I think that's actually a pretty good gank. We don't see that many ganks like that anymore. Almost everyone's just full clearing, but yeah. Lucid is going to see that the red buff is still up, but Weiwei's level four, and he, he does not want to contest this red.
and really nice. With Smolder into Silas. I mean, Smolder wants to just lane versus Silas, but Silas would love a uh, a skirmish in the jungle right now. Smolder just doesn't have consistent damage yet. I think he could have potentially done two camps bot and then base then, but he wants to be more active on the map. Oh, Hong, Hong ignited to try to cancel the recall. Didn't get it here. Scout is gonna... Oh, Scout has no TP. Oh, he's in a pretty bad spot here. Do you have to take a really bad base, or what's the what's the idea? Scout is actually getting kind of kind of rolled there. That was a really, really rough trade. Maokai starting Drake. Weiwei's fine with this. He's, he could potentially contest top camps here. Could maybe even dive top. Dive top is actually a thing here. Crash down there on the Mohan. But dive top could be nice here. Gala knows 100% that they're on Drake, so I, I think dive top can work here. Zika just took a good trade. I think we can dive top. What's the wave stat uh, st status? Maybe he just wants to get a void grub and he wants to make the safer play. But I think Kingen is just dead, actually. If he's okay, he's just at level six. Maybe it's not there anymore. Because I was trying to look at what the top wave was. They're not showing the mini map right now, but it looked like they were in a position where Zika would be able to crash the wave and then he would just level six to level five. And they might have been able to just go for it. Okay. That's not that great from Scout. I mean, Scout ends up chunking Lucid pretty hard, but he does use his ult for it. I mean, they're going to get the Void Grubs either way, I guess. But Moham and Aiming are coming. Should be a situation where Weiwei is able to get it before anyone's here, though. Make sure that DK are kind of a weird swap, to be honest. Kind of a weird swap, because they're swapping out a timer where they're not getting grubs. I guess they're just trying to bail the Olaf out of lane. Because Olaf was going to have a rough time on the bounce. I, I guess that's the idea. They go on to Lucid. Lucid's going to live here, I think. Is, is Lucid... Is, is Zika dead? This is so criminal that they win this. That's so criminal that they win this. They went on two different targets. Hong went for the Q flash, but Zika had no ability to actually get to them. So that was actually pretty bad by, by LNG because this is a play that they should be way stronger in. If you look at the three that they have... Ziggs, Alistar, Maokai, way weaker than Renekton, Vi at level 6, too. And, um, and Hong. Lucid didn't even have to flash there, bro. I don't know. I think there's going to be a point in the game where someone should really lack damage before Showmaker gets 225. I think, like, like third Drake around, it should be pretty hard for them to fight compared to, like, compared to the Renekton, who's going to spike at that timer. There's going to be Silas, who's really, really OP because he has Alistar ult or Maokai ult in every single fight. Like, Gaul is going to be pretty strong when he has Shiv. There's going to be a timer in this game where I think it's going to be pretty difficult to play for a dumb one but if they get through it i think hyper late game smolder can still do smolder things i mean hyper late game i shouldn't really say hyper late game like the mid late game when they're on like two items two and a half items and smolder has 225 three items like around then i think then they can start doing some stuff they can start cooking a bit and they dive zika zika is gonna ult and try to clear the wave if he gets the wave it'd be huge but it's not he's not getting his oh he got his q that's like fine for them to be honest I think that's fine for them overall. I mean, they're hit, they're getting bot wave for free, and they ended up getting the wave top. Somebody has to go. Somebody has to go to. Um, they can they can potentially fight the grubs after as well. Yeah, I don't know. I think this was actually good for LNG overall. They got the wave here. Okay, Kingen is here. Ong is W. Kingen. What's happening to Lucid? Is Lucid dead too? I mean, Lucid has ult, but Gala's is hitting bot for free. Enemy team's hitting top for free. What's happening with the grubs? It's four grubs right now for LNG. Zika's going back top. Gala's is getting free experience. It's a pretty big win for LNG. That, that was a not that was not a good dive. Like you could tell Zika knew what was going on. That wasn't a situation where he's just getting dove and it's like he underestimated the damage. He's like, I'm gonna ult. I'll clear most of the wave. Like if they use ults to dive me. Oh my God! They actually stole one here. Pretty big. Pretty big, pretty big, pretty big. They actually stole one away, which was nice. So they stopped the six grubs. They stopped it from being a giga disaster. But the idea there is that if they use ults diving Zika, then they're not going to be strong on the grub fight. And what LNG really wanted was the grub fight. I would say overall, it's like still advantage LNG right now. But it's good that DK was able to stop the six grubs. Pretty big win for, for LNG. I'll, I'll, still, I'll still say it's a pretty big win for them. They, they also get Drake and they get first turret. And Gala is ahead or like even. The Ziggs didn't really get... 
ahead, it's going to be pretty hard for Showmaker to immediately responded by be useful the top side, for the next the two drakes, but the drake after that, he'll he'll be fine. Make sure that they can force He's honestly stacking well, pretty well, all things considered. Firing off the Void Seeker, but bouncing bomb's not going to connect in response. Mastercard Lane Economy snapshot showing you that, yes, it's a bit of a gold Trying to just chunk Gala as much as he can here. Other gold leads going the oh, Zika's just taking the fight. Lane, though, 1v1 oh, Zika's just outplaying him. Top laners, Speaking some Mandarin here. Trying to wait for those cooldowns to come back. He doesn't want to stand there and fight the Olaf auto attack. V, auto attack. Yeah, he just outplayed the f*** out of him, bro. He spoke now, insane amounts of Mandarin to him. Run, King, and run. Yeah, he spoke insane amounts of Mandarin to him right there. It's kind of unfortunate. Oh, where's Godolf to? Okay. Oh, wait. oh, okay. Very low on HP. Got got ults. To get away oh, they're going pretty deep for this. Oh, Scout just TP'd on aiming. Okay, the headbutt doesn't work. Can they kill Weiwei? Ong is out. They get, everybody right they get a kill. Back. I mean, they lost and a lot of resources for this. It's not, this is not insane for LNG. They're probably going to lose mid turret here. Supposed to win that look at item. Well, no, that's actually winnable for Olaf when you all in. That's like the one time that Olaf can win. But if you saw what ended up happening, the Zika ended up having good, good uses of his dashes. And because he had flash advantage there, he was able to make the fight play in a way where Olaf was not able to easily pick up his axes. And then when he wasn't able to pick up his axes, it became a lot harder for him to play. A lot of this game is going to come down to does Ziggs die? If Ziggs dies one time in one of these like early game fights, they run out of damage fast. Unless Olaf has a turbo angle. Mm, actually, enemy team is going for Harold. So Dalmon going Harold. So LNG will go for maybe a play on Kingen. On the items and take Drake. Go for Drake too. Because the Herald's already down. So in their mind, they're like, okay, Herald is gone. Mm, Zika has heal. Uh, maybe it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they want so LNG, because the mid turret's already down, they don't care too much about Herald. So they gave Herald, they made the bot play, and they're gonna get Drake. That's gonna be their their play. But because mid turret is down, that means that Dom1 can use Herald on top tier two, which should be kind of hard to defend. They set up on the gank. Then he also got the solo kill. Yeah, tier two is down, but oh, scout is the scout is really tanky now here. They're gonna have to just give Moham's life, I think. They're gonna feed him to the wolves the here. Scout is ready to jump in after him. Stolen Alistar ulti means he's totally unafraid of any sort of a counter attack. Hung <laughs> now just also continuing to try to chase. His scout got knocked back over the wall. Okay, does he live? Oh, Gala gets it. <laughs> That's actually probably worse, to be honest. That's probably worse for Dom on there. And Gala ends up getting the kill on Kaisa because Kaisa is going to spike really hard later on. That's Drake for LNG as well. And Domwon wasn't able to find a useful timer on the Herald. LNG has got pretty good control right here. How is Olaf so poor? Uh, Renekton got tier 2, didn't he? When did tier 2 drop? When Renekton got the solo kill, did he also get tier 2? watching the top fight, but I, th but I mean, the top, the, the tier 2 is gone. And I think it was already gone when they made the, the last bot play. So, yeah, the tier 2 for Zika was huge. I assume he just got it after the solo kill so they still have their flash on show yeah that's how that's how he's so poor and you know here like zika could be playing more for himself but he's had to sacrifice a couple times for the team but he's still doing it in a way where he's like he's doing it in intelligent timings i mean he, he's playing pretty well I, I gotta say zika is playing pretty well this game all things considered right as i say that he gets solo killed by olaf nice. we'll play we'll play to me scout is tp'ing seems a little bit fake to me seems a little bit fake from scout i think he might just be inting scout just in Feeding? That was pretty bad ult, I think, from uh that was a pretty bad ult from aiming because you know once he walks into the pit what he's doing. That was a that was a pretty bad play from Scout. He just loses his flash for no reason. And they did use three ults, so maybe it ends up being okay. They're gonna try to play on mid here. Zika's steeping behind mid. Zika's steeping behind mid now. Alright, let's see. How much will be spoken to them? Almost nothing, almost nothing. He's quiet right now. I mean, they used two TPs. I mean, that's not a great sequence for LNG. They're down two TPs. Gives Dom one some, some time. I think I think the Drakes will actually kind of be nice for them, to be honest. Going on to Moham. They got Moham's ult and flash here. Oh, Gala's going on to aiming. Uh, yeah, yeah. Aiming got caught in no man's land. That could be a Baron pull. This is a time where where Dawn is not strong at all. They can probably pull Baron and then they can play off that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hong just sent it, bro. We're just sending. Jesus. Okay, well that's just Baron for sure. Holy, f they just rolled them. Yo. 
Yo, I thought there. So what I thought the play was is they were gonna pull Nash and try to turn because Alistar had no flash, no ult, but they just fing sent it on mid turn. They said, Fuck it. "You walked up. Time to get punished." They're too LPL. They're pretty LPL. This this actually is a very good display of like what type of team LNG really is. Like when LNG plays well, this is how they play. Like they play consistent. They don't have too many deaths. Their macro for the most part is pretty good for an LPL team. And then they get into situations where they like out team fight you. They're pretty good at seeing angles. The downside is when they get behind, they kind of shrivel up a bit. Schumacher is the Russell Westbrook of league. No, I mean, Schumacher still is, is good at what he does. He's just, I'm surprised he's playing an AD mid laner when AD mids aren't even like super meta right now because that was never his his game like he was the guy that was trying to find talia angles and leblanc angles and these types of picks domestically because of the fact that the 80 mid laners were just not his strength he wasn't good at playing side lane he, he would fall behind in cs so it's weird for me to see Dalmon play 80 mids when they don't have to into a game like this like they essentially blinded it playing it pretty conservative onto lucid Lucid is in no man's land. Can't be there. Uh, there's no, there's no reason to, to walk up. I guess he just wants his jungle camps. Oh, they're sending it onto aiming. They know if if they kill aiming here, like the game can just end. Kingen might look for something here. Maybe Kingen looks. I mean, Smolder hit 225 during this fight. They didn't even get aiming splash. Is out. Oh, Lucid might get punished here. Not a great angle. They're sending it on to aiming, but Gala, Gala wasn't really... This is actually pretty bad for LNG. Can they throw the game here? They might throw the game here. This could, this could be a f***ing giga throw. Gala has to ult somewhere, maybe? Pretty big throw from Weiwei. They didn't need to do that. Could have just played around Soul. All right, this is their play. This is their play. This is their timer. And the target was, I think, incorrect as well. Yeah, he's just in there, bro. They can't do any damage to him. Oh, man. This is going to be pretty bad. Oh, man. They're just getting chunked down. Yeah, Baron was overzealous. They will end up just losing soul here, I think. They could lose Baron and soul here. Maybe Dalmon tries to deny soul. That was actually pretty bad play from LNG. That was pretty bad play. Like, they took that fight. They could take these fights around Baron or Drake. Like, they had Rel Flash. They had Vi Flash. All this stuff. They could take this fight in a way better location. Look at where they're chasing into. Like, they think they win so hard. But Rel doesn't even get that good of a combo. It's a really good W from Mohan before the crash landing actually, or the crash down comes down. And Gala can't really ult into this location. If they take this fight in River, it'd be so much better because Gala would be able to like ult around, like he would be able to, to play. Scout could go deeper. The whole situation would be significantly better. So I think this is really big misplay from LNG, honestly. All right, can I watch live, bro? Can I watch live to see if they got Chemtech Soul and like if they're on Baron, please? Okay, they got Chemtech Soul and they're on Baron. I I'm so tired of replays like that, bro. Like, I don't want to see the fight again that we just saw. I would want to see them like, okay, they took Chemtech Soul. What's the tempo look like on the map? All right, now they're going to go for Baron. This is not the most useless Olaf game ever. I don't think that there's a good top lane pick. I was trying to think of top lane picks into that are good into Renekton. 80 top laners that are good into Renekton and go with the team comp that you have. I'm not sure what you could actually pick there. Yeah, they got they got Malkael. That's all they want. And now they should start Drake because or start Baron because they can turn really easily with Maokai ult. They should really just start it here. Start it with two. Start it with Weiwei and Gala. I don't know why they're not starting it. Start the objective, please. Please, please. Start hitting it, guys. Uh, start it as two. Yes, man. Yes. Don't get our uh, panties in a bunch because it's worlds. Free. They're getting top tier two here. They're playing on three lanes. I think playing on three lanes actually makes a lot of sense here because I don't think you could end the game on two lanes. And now they can move to two lanes after they get the top tier two. The ball wave is not there. Just, we, we don't have a lot of range on the side of LNG, so yeah. Just about Scion and do a swap. I, I think that they need some damage from their top laners, to be honest. Yeah, they're using the double cannon here. It's pretty effective. Now they should be able to hit mid on this timer. Zika is just trying to burn King as ult. Really good trade by him. He's gonna finish off the turret there. Oh, this is pretty solid. They're saying any fight is good. 
away the unbreakable will. He's so tanky there on the front line. Uh, that's not the best ult. Zika's gonna TP back. They're gonna keep this going, I think. I think they're gonna keep this going. Gala has cleanse and flash. Still doing just fine as DK scramble to try to defend. And they're teleporting right back in. Gala jumps in with the killer. Hey. He wanted to go after Showmaker, but he ain't gonna find him. He stays alive with the extra bit of time from the stasis. Hey, King is trying to go off. This is his desperation play. Maokai ult. Nah, they just stay. They just outplayed him here. It is what it is. Wait, wait, dead. Oh, maybe they have to back now. They got a lot off of it, though. Couldn't end the game. Yeah, they got two inhibs for the Elder fight, though. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the Silas into Smolder. I think it's good in, in the game. I was unsure about how good it would be because I thought that Smolder might just, like, bully you really hard in lane with Grasp. He has Grasp, right? Like, I've been looking at it the whole game. I'm just confirming. Yeah, okay. Um, but, I mean, if you can get through the lane versus Smolder and you have a Maokai Alistar on the enemy team, it's a good Silas angle. Bro, when people say I'm an LPL hater or, like, or they say, like, I'm a, I'm a LCK hater, I'm an LPL enjoyer, but this, you know what it reminds me of? It's like when you see those signs where it's like, it's like Democrats for Trump, where it's like, I'm a, I'm a. In Democrat, but even I have to admit that, like, that Trump is just so much better. Like, like those, guys, it's like, wait, can we get some proof? Can we get some proof that you're actually, uh, like what you say you are? Okay, Elder completed. Yeah, they're getting all cooked. Zika got a turbo flank. Goodbye. GG. Bro, we can give Gala a pentakill here. Come on. It would give it would give your team more aura if Gala got a pentakill. Because then people would be like, oh shit, bro. We can't we can't give Gala Kaisa, bro. If we give Gala Kaisa, he might go 10-0 and get a penta. You would get in their heads. Pretty solid game from LNG. Pretty solid. D plus are way bigger frauds than LNG, even if you think LNG are frauds. I mean, the thing is, Domwon's mid game is normally a problem. Like, Domwon didn't play actually that bad of a mid game, but they just. I feel like they kind of got outplayed at most stages of this game. Not like LNG had control throughout. Let's get into draft number two. Rumble Renekton banned. Okay, so Domwon is going blue side again. Nar banned into Kingen. They banned Jax like, last time. I wonder if they do that again or if they care. They might just give Ziggs. Let's see if Domwon bans Kaiser or something to try to make the Ziggs first pick even better. Could be possible. Yode banned. Oh, yeah. Yode banned. Does LNG ban the Ziggs or do they just not care about it? Let's see. What's the ban from LNG? They care about Ziggs. They ban Jax like they did last game. They, they keep the Jax ban. All right. So you assume it's going to be first pick Ziggs. I wonder if LNG is going to super high prio the um, Vi again. Ooh, Vi. Gala Ziggs is actually really crazy generally. I would I would just take the Ziggs if I'm Gala. I would just take it and not overthink. I would like something like Ziggs Skarner. I would like to see Skarner into Vi. The f Camille. Just off the rip. Camille to Juani. God damn. So they're trying to make it. So like Camille is one of the things that people want to play. This with um, Ziggs. So they're taking the Camille away from Dom Juan, so Dom Juan can't play the Camille Ziggs combo. Damn, bro. Just one, two Camille. Jesus. I mean, bro, they're giving over Ziggs, though. They want to play into to Ziggs with Dive. So I assume that what this means is they're going to go um, Kaisa on three again. I think they just want to play Kaisa. And they think that, that aiming being on a champion like Ziggs removes one of the huge carry threats from Dom Juan. I don't know if I like this Smolder again. I'm down with the Showmaker Syndra. I'm down with, with Syndra Vi, and then you just go an AD top. Ends up being Poppy. Okay, Poppy for Moham, most likely. You could play top, but... King doesn't strike me as a huge Poppy player. Maybe he is. I assume it's just going to be Kaisa here. I mean, Kaisa does get blocked by Poppy, though, so maybe they go Ezreal or something instead, but I think Gala is good enough at Kaisa to just be aware of this condition. I wonder if they ban Syndra as well or if they don't care about it. I mean, Syndra is a mobile target, something that Sejuani can gank, so it is possible to play into it. I mean, maybe maybe Dom 1 goes something like a, um, a Trist. 
Could be a Trist mid. They play for like, because Camille is kind of weak early, maybe they play for like early ta tower taking. Try to swap a lot, put the Camille in uncomfortable positions, because Camille can't die for waves the same way Renekton can, right? That was one of the things that LLG used last game to stay in the game, to have Renekton just catch shit waves, die for, you know, a, a, a big wave state when they try to do a push, and as a result, Gala gets to collect. Can't actually do that with their comp. Camille is much more fragile champion early game. So yeah, the Tristana ban, okay. Like Damn, they read it. Here. That's exactly uh, what we were I talking mean, about, and LG saw in the LG moment that that was one of the things they're compass they susceptible to. Holy f bro, so maybe they maybe they deserve to be professional players and coaches. Like, yeah, maybe they're just they too smart. Well maybe I'm the fraud. Fiona, they're trying to get okay, Hong to play Rel. Blue, doesn't doesn't Hong just go Rakan here? Knowing Hong, doesn't he go Rakan in this situation? It's like Poppy can't W everything. Maokai support? Ain't no way. They could do Sejuani support. I've seen some of that in Champions Q, but uh, they're just going to go Rel anyway. All right. So a lot of what we're going to see probably is LNG trying to engage on the Poppy. Definitely see this being a thing. We're like, when Poppy walks up, because she cucks Rel so hard, a lot of times Rel's just Q flash there. Them aiming, hovering Annie. Okay. I wonder what that means. Ari? I think that's more Dom Juan style. Gives Showmaker the ability to make plays. Yora, nah, he doesn't have balls like that, right? Knowing Kingen, isn't Kingen just gonna pick like Udyr or some bullshit? <laughs> nah, he can't go Udyr with this. He needs to go AD. I mean, wouldn't he just go Aatrox? Yeah, like Aatrox, Cassante, GP, if anything. Galio? Galio Camille comp? Old school? What is Scout gonna play? Yasuo. I don't really believe in the Yasuo here too much. Damn, Galio. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna run and grab something to eat. Be right back. One second. Oh. W start? Hmm. Oh, yeah, Scout might start W there. Okay. Wait, wait, got one. Think I got out. Q3. Wait, wait, got level two here. Wait, wait, got level two. Now they're going bot side. Zika started W at level one here. Which is not normally that great. But I guess he's going to get level two off the bot wave and they're going to try to dive Kigan. If Kigan tries to TP or something. So we're in the standard two. 2v2s essentially that we get both the supports just chilling mid the we have the um top laners and 80 carries together they're gonna try to defend the dive one of the teams will probably try to defend the dive all right let's see the tp and let's see the dive moham's only level two they're just gonna have zika go top they said they called off the dive i think they could have dove that though did they really not dive it? Well, Zika had to TP without basing. I mean, same thing, obviously, for Kingen, but yeah. What is Moham doing? I don't know what Moham's doing there, but he just lost a flashing knight. Hong ignited. I mean, maybe he can just base here. Then Kagan is fine to collect. Maybe it's fine. Scouts is helping way, way real quick. Give him some autos. Trying to make sure he gets the buff. Okay for both teams, to be honest. No team, like, won the 2v1 super hard. Zika is, like, decent experience. Gaming is actually getting pressured, though, 1v1 by Zika. Gala taking cleanse again. He really likes taking cleanse on Kai'Sa so he can cleanse old. I mean, all he really has to cleanse here, like, charm, if that somehow hits. Ooh, Lucid. Lucid flash for that. Flash for flash. Scout has TP. He can TP back. Wait, wait, he's probably just going to give his respawn Raptors and then take his blue and Gromp. But it doesn't matter if you know. And if Zika gets nice the wave, it'd be huge. Can they kill Zika here? Potential really be there's no there. flash on um the there's no flash on Vi, which makes it harder. Certainly be a viable target. As Zika right now is the target. Yep, knock back with the satchel charge. He's gonna have to flash. Zika, trying to get away there, jumps Oh, good, good, good knock. Really well played by Lucid. They got him exactly onto this turret. The reason why Zika flashed like that is because he didn't want to put himself on range of the turret. So he was trying to watch down, and Lucid knocked him into the range of the turret or the angle of the turret so Moham could stun him. That was pretty good. I don't know if they can dive this. Let's see. Might have to do it in two parts. Good flash from Kingen. Doing a good job defending himself for now. Turret Scout is here too, though. Out, but Scout's made his way down to the fight now too. 4v1. Kingan still level 5. Nowhere close to being able to go all out. But he knocks him back. Doing a beautiful job so far. Long as one tanky. I mean, they'll kill him eventually, one right? Man army from DK. Okay. 
I mean, they, they four-man dove the bot situation. Showmaker's going to collect the wave, so it's not the end of the world. Zika is taking over mid during it. Zika just eat, he would not have the range. I mean, if, if Zika just eat on the wall and he didn't get the extended range, I'm, with Poppy running at him, I think Poppy probably would have been able to cancel him here. Oh, Shomir just, just ulted just to cancel the recall from Gala. Gala just accepted it. Wait, Shomaker is trolling here. Shomaker trolled really hard, I think. Okay. I mean, he lost his own flash for it. Probably not great for him. He doesn't have TP. So now Zika's going to take over bot wave, it looks like. And Gala will probably run top. I mean, there is a big tempo uh, win here for Dom1. I think Scout should have probably won top quicker, though. Gala is probably going to end up going mid. Void Grubs, I mean, they're they're going to get the full turret here. I mean, this is kind of what you'd expect, though, from the Ziggs comp. I wonder if Scout could have just went top earlier. I guess he was afraid of being dove. And he's just trying to deny. They're thinking about, like, do we dive this? Yeah, there you go. Mm, Hong. Down. Ooh, King and King and ulted him. I think this is kind of weird, though. He's got to be careful. Like, there's this is there, there's numbers here for LNG. Oh, good cancel, good cancel. I don't know, bro. King is scaring me a little bit. I feel like he doesn't need to be making this play. Oh, that's not good. Flash ult from Zika. Oh, Zika has no flash and run. Ult would have been huge. Oh man, you can't be doing that. Giving the kills to Gala is really annoying for Dom One. They were doing pretty well before that. Oh. Oh man. Oh man, that's so bad for Dom One. Like they have the gold lead from the first turret, but LNG will eventually get bot turret. And getting the gold onto Gala is really annoying. It kind of reminds me of that Genji game with Pace, where Pace just picked up a bunch of free kills, even though he was in a kind of situation and then it just feels really hard to play afterwards of lng are coming to try and make sure of that yep we got another good good dodge from zika oh king is just damn solid play they're giving up the six grubs but they got this bot um turret and they get the kill i i, I like it bro i really like it they're kind of outsmarting them right now it feels like i mean the gold leader as per usual but yeah i mean like when you play zigs and you're playing for grubs i mean he's it's not like he's uh becoming the gold leader because he's doing some amazing plays oh gala okay good play good play onto gala Scout kind of let this happen. Oh, Lucid is dead though for it. Lucid will die for it. I guess Scout will just kill here. They're, they're really trying to prevent. Oh, they're TPing, they're TPing, they're TPing. Moham's dead. Uh, King is in trouble, bro. Okay, he got his EW out. I mean, they are going to be able to take mid turret with a satchel pretty soon. It's like one auto into satchel. But LNG, I feel like they're really happy with how the game's going because they will they will outscale. I think the, the lack of damage from Dom one and the fact that it's primarily magic damage will be an issue later on. The real consistent damage for them as it gets later. Yeah, like look at Showmaker. He, he can't even look at Scout yet. Like Scout has six Dark Seal stacks as well. So the thing about Scout right now is not only is he a giga tank, considering he's building MR and HP, and he has his uh, W passive shield into Ari and Ziggs. Not only does he have that, the other part of it is that with six Dark Seal stacks and a Doran's ring, he actually is doing damage at this point in the game. Kind of. Scout's moving over. He's can raid boss right now. Uh, Dom one like is really weak in the individual fights. I mean, they need a yes, good poppy ult to separate people. That's like the the main thing they'd be looking for. They shouldn't go too hard here onto Moham. Looks like Hong is dead. Oh wait, Lucid went in. Oh, Lucid went in to try to finish him off. All right, this is all gonna be on King and what can King and do? What can King and do? Looks like he can't do shit, bro. Gall is in. Aiming's dead. Nah, this game's cooked. They're getting outhanded, bro. Looks like LNG is going to be the first team into the bracket stage. <laughs> what I think is the worst team from LPL is going to be the first LPL team to qualify for bracket stage. Nice. Bro, but like LNG has been behaving in a slightly abnormal manner, I, 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 I should say. They have been behaving in a slightly abnormal manner at this uh, at this world championship. They're acting a little bit different. Like they, they do look a little different. Like they, like they, that game versus BLG was pretty nice. These two games versus Damon are pretty good. I mean, if, if Weiwei and Hong get into form, like the team is like if Scout, Weiwei, and Hong are performing, and Zika and Gullar are as consistent as they've been, like that team is.
Looking good, bro. Yeah, Scout has been looking like a uh, like he's 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 kind of doing the faker from last last world where he looked like kind of sus. Whatever. I mean, obviously he's like at a different degree. Like no one thought Faker was gonna step up, and then Faker came to last worlds, and he was like, Oriana, I'm and shitting on my lanes now. It feels like Scout just has like very clear vision of the game. If you just think about all the plays he made, he knew that he needed to be bought on this bot dive where they, they dove king because they wouldn't have been able to do it as three. Makes that play. They return mid when Gala gets dove, he ults instantly. Like they end up winning that situation. This play here, like he just has like a very clear vision of how he wants to play the game. And he's playing interesting champions that are, are giving his team, like they're using this fifth pick, mid lane pick to really this time, get some type of advantage that rage the galio was excellent in this game gets online, when you've got the this galio, silas this in the last game was really good you. he's Church always got the threat of yone which is <laughs> the pick the that is like the mid laner at this tournament this is that's really op so i gotta say they they like they do they are impressing me they're they're way better than i thought they would be i mean lng is in in perfect spot even though they're only up 1.5k gold with their comp sitting on three drakes getting mountain drakes as well in this galio looks very Get scary right now. Both around here, Mega Inferno Bomb used to just clear the wave. Uh, Scout is under the turn. I mean, that's one way you can die. This is one way you can die. Can he just, yeah, he's just dead. Well, that's uh, hey, you asked how can Scout die? That's how. Just lost his flash and gave his shutdown to. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate it went to Vi. But that's how Scout can die. There we go. I mean, it's all gonna come down to this uh soul fight. But yeah, I mean, Galio having no flash with the soul fight is very big. It definitely does matter. I mean, what is what? What is Dom one gonna do here? Gonna they just try to get a flank and try to kill Gala or something? DK still gotta be careful about their approach, but they're gonna be they have to just go in. Too late. Mega Inferno bomb over the top as they want to try to get their jungler in there, but instead they're trying to kill Lucid. They get soul. That's Mountain Soul, bro. Mountain Soul is so big for them. The Galio Camille ult on top. That's the Sterex coming in. Oh man, Gala is untouched. Gala is untouched. Gala is gonna be able to do work in this fight. He still he still can commit harder. He has oh he already used his flash. Oh, good Poppy W. Maybe they can do Baron. Uh, can they do Baron? If they can do Baron, that would be huge. If they can do Baron, that's huge. If not, I think they just lose. I mean, LNG got soul. They should be able to Baron here. Okay, I mean, LNG kind of griefs. They grief trying to extend the fight too much. They tried to extend the fight way too much. The Baron is kind of big. The Baron is the Baron is kind of big. I mean, it's still a sided game towards LNG. I think even if they play into Baron, but it's it's the best thing that could have happened for Dom One after they lose Soul. Oh, Gala's looking for it. Mom's just gonna stun him though. Uh, Scout has TP in five. Let's see how many people live on Dom One. Maybe everyone can live. Maybe all of them can live. Let's see. It's all about can they survive with this Baron. Looks like they can. Looks like they can survive. Imagine Scout has flash to this fight. I mean, the Galio Camille ult didn't even work. I mean, they ended up going on Vi and it just was nothing. Galio is so mid. Wait, we blamed Gala for this fight? I think that... I don't know. I feel like Ziga didn't need to... Okay, I mean, no, Ziga did need to ult that. And that's true. He didn't need to ult that. Takes him out so that Lucid's able to escape as well, and nobody gets caught in the combination. The re engage. Here, I mean, Hong flips. His life there as King goes in to get the knockback, and they get. I mean, honestly, so I, like, I'm surprised they were actually able to win this. So low, aiming can flash forward, and he also. I mean, aiming, aiming clutched up. I mean, I think Scout, Scout, kill. and right, Zika could have just line. accepted what he happened and just lived. Go Ooh, they're going on to the Sidrani. Sidrani has flash. Sidrani's just dead. Dude, maybe they can do this. They have six grubs. Dude, maybe they're gonna maybe they're gonna win this game. Alright. Big fing swing. Was not expecting this. I thought this game was fing cooked. I mean they have gold. Question is like, is it gonna matter? when you're playing into soul because you got to remember like mountain soul is effectively like a bunch of stats here so we'll see we'll see what ends up happening but i think that what it does is it allows dom one versus lng to get like a an elder flip situation you know so it's definitely like way more playable but i mean i would think that that mountain soul is just
so OP in this game. The biggest thing that Dom Juan struggles with is damage, but now Ziggs is going to be 16. Like, aiming's going to be 16 with ult. He's got Void now. Has Azanias. It's... I guess it's not completely one. Showmaker doesn't have that much money. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, I think they have to probably go on Showmaker, but Showmaker is going to have stopwatch. Let's see what happens here. Okay. They're teaming on a ward here. King is trying to leave. Zeke is just going to chase. Kill Moham. Oh, Gaul is dead. Gaul is dead. Wait, no. Gaul is alive. Is he alive? Gaul is alive, bro. Gaul is alive. That's so unfortunate. For Dom one. Oh man, it's close, bro. It's a close one. All right, thirty-five seconds on Elder. I wonder how they play this because there is stopwatch on both the carries of Showmaker and aiming of Dom one. So they can't really Camille Galio combo them, but maybe they just do it anyway, just so that they're forced to use their stopwatches in a fight, just so that they have to like you know like use the the stopwatches early and they can't put out damage. You know, as a way to just negate their ability to do damage. Let's see. I think he's trying to go from bot side here can he actually pressure king in off the the position that he's in looks like they're all going to contest from bot and then scout will stay mid and try to engage or try to enter with his ult seems like that's the idea a lot of this could come down to poppy getting a good ult here they're just trying to chunk king in Camille is just going to chunk King in. He is trying to wrap around. He's trying to get onto aiming. They want to try to just go onto aiming so that aiming can't deal damage here. But the thing is, Zika. Oh! They saw it. They saw it. Lucid saw it. Got Camille Galio. Okay, the Rel is in. Let's see what ends up happening. King is dead. Zika is alive for right now. It's advantage LNG. They actually got the, the, the jump onto aiming. Lucid saw it and went for the Q onto Camille, and he didn't get it. Camille flashed over and got onto uh, Gala, which was or got onto aiming, which was huge. I think it's very hard for them to play this. It's very hard for them to play this. Flash in. They're just going to go on Lucid here. They're just going to kill Lucid. Showmaker's dead, too. Gala is dead. Gala died. Nope. Elder. Just Elder. They're just chasing them with Elder here. Zika also has Mountain Soul, plus he has healing. They're just trying to slow chase them. They're going to try to turn this into a Baron. Looking good for LNG. Looking really fucking good. All Zika has to do is not die. They're going to eventually kill Aiming here. They can even stall his death timer. Wait for the Sejuani to get around here. They definitely don't let him live. That's for sure. I think Sejuani just comes and kills him late. I mean, this is actually really good because they're going to um, sink his death timer. Oh, he ended up killing Rel. It doesn't matter, though. The thing is, this timer is desynced and they're just going to go over to Baron and there's no way Dom One could contest Baron without Aiming. Zika is... And he's a beast, but I think Lucid Lucid messed up here. Lucid needed to cancel Zika in the, in the first part of the fight. He needed to cancel Zika, just old Zika, make sure he can't get onto aiming. The fact that he queued towards Zika and Zika had already got the dash from his E and was able to ult onto aiming just meant that Lucid wasn't really able to protect his boy. If you're sitting in this bush, it's up to Lucid to cancel the flank. The thing is, Zika can eventually pressure the Vi off, but yeah, that's going to be Baron, Baron Elder. It's very hard for them to do anything. I mean, Zika is going to base TP. What does he have? He has GA. Oh, man. It's very hard for Dama. Oh, okay, he's just taking the top. He just TP'd back on top. Camille's on the tower. Camille's yeah. deleting the tower. He just he needed one more hit. I don't think he's gonna find it. Hook shot to escape in time. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, threw out his ult because he thought that Zika was uh Zika was in trouble, but his his boy has been performing today, bro. Zika's been performing in this series. Try to come and finish off the other side of the map. Oh, Alright, they're just going out to Moham. He's going for the free pick. Spot. He's down. Zika. They still have this wave on Baron with triple cannon wave, bro. They have a triple cannon wave. Glacial prison on the King and yet again the zero and six oh, One of the cannons died. Mm, 17 seconds on Baron. Cannon lost its mind. Had 13 reasons. I can honestly backdoor the top turret, by the way. I think backdooring the top turret is really good here. Actually, like, unironically, I think that they could have just went five top backdoor this this turret to just kill the top and hit. Gala has GA. There's big item gap here. There's there's Gala with GA and Zika with GA going into this. It should be like 
it really Zeka should be unwinnable for Damwon at this point. Yeah, it actually should just be completely unwinnable, but maybe I'm just cursing it by saying that. Ziga is just TP. Oh, he has Death Dance on top. I mean, how, how can how can win? How can win? They got onto aiming. Ziga is getting kind of killed. I mean, Ziga's kind of getting killed here. Ziga, Ziga's in his GA. Can Gala get in there? Oh, aiming's dead. GG. Honestly, I think Zika kind of like ran it down there. That was not, that was not the best. He was just getting f***ed. He walked through the fires of hell to get into this fight. But he just made the... That was the biggest f***ing stat check when it comes to his, his items. That was the biggest f***ing stat check. He just f***ing... He's just like, yeah, I got... I got a Stare axe, I got a GA, I've got a death dance, I am just walking at you. Alright, LNG, bro, LNG, first team that makes it in to the best of five stage quarterfinals. Huge.